so old. It's box opening time. Um, so if you have been watching my videos, I am expecting two new little munchkins to my nursery. Uh, one is a painted doll uh, and my phone is not staying where it should. Mend that for a moment, excuse me. Oh, there we go, that might work a bit better. Sorry about that. Um, so one is a painted um, doll and one is a kit. Um, so by this little box here, it's only a medium flat rate box. Um, this is my little kit. Uh, so I'm just going to get to and open guys because um, I'm really curious about this kit. I have a nappy armed and ready to put on the kit because I expect that he will be all naked and we all know how YouTube has a problem with naked dolls you know totally weird isn't it so it took me a bit to get through this label so this one I'm kind of excited for it's my painted one that I'm getting really anxious about um, because I've waited for what seems like forever from a painted one. Obviously, it's painted, whereas, and I can play with that one straight away. Whereas this little guy here, I do have to paint, um, and I'm not in a position to get any painting started on him for a couple of weeks because I do have some other dolls to finish. So I'm just going to put his certificate down so this is kit number 10 of 30 and yes it is a silicon kit I don't collect reborns I collect silicon all right actually I'm just gonna fish him out and turn the box over he's bigger than I thought he was which is really good um, this is a little preemie kit as well I'm not sure if I announced that I think I have um, but I'm, um, I'm into my preemies. Um, but what I am going to do, guys, just while he's out of camera, before I unveil him to you, is I'm just going to put it on his nappy. And he is so cute. I'm so happy. Um, just because he is a little boy with his little dolly boy part. Right. There we go. <laughs> okay, so he's got these gorgeous little legs and little feeties. I've got my light coming from like up over there at the moment, um, which casts a bit of a shadow, but it gives you like it lights it up quite nice. So he is in EcoFlex th uh, sorry, EcoFlex twenty. And he has the cutest little feet. I'm loving them. And you, once you see the body, if you're a watcher of different kits that come on the market, you'll know who this is. He's got these gorgeous little handsy wansies. These little handsy wansies. And here's his little face. So guys, this, I'm just going to push the box away is early bird closed eyed the kit itself i'm just going to pop him actually if i just pop him on the carpet there and slide you guys back you can kind of see him a bit more because of all the way the light's coming down um so he is the early bird closed eyed kit now the head and the limbs are sculpted by Tina Kiwi with rights to Angela Lewis. So this is essentially an Angela Lewis doll. Um, Angela apparently, I believe, had the rights to the resin, the resin arms. Um, see if you can whether the camera will focus. Ugh. Don't you just hate cameras sometimes? Bingo. Um, so Angela created a body for...
for him with the rights and made him. Um, now he does have a fixed neck because I actually bought the kit with the, the drink and wet. So he's Ecoflex uh, 20. He's not like the super soft silicons that are going around um, at the moment. If you want to see the difference between the two, actually, Claire Taylor's just put up a great video online um, which describes the the difference between Ecoflex 20 and the new super soft silicons. I will show you the top of his little bot bot because he's so cute. And he's got these little little back rolls there. Uh, yeah, so he has a fixed neck with a drink and wet. Um, he does have a small mouth, so I actually probably will be opening that up so I can fit a full size teat in his mouth. You probably can't see, but I can see that it's tiny. But there he is. He's a super cute little preemie guy. He's got like the wide rib cage. Oop, back you go. And the narrow, narrow at the hips. Um, I really like the actual sculpt, like the, the sculpt Tina's feet and knees and legs and hands. Her hands are really similar to Angela's. I do have to say Angela and Tina sculpt similar, similar hands, but the faces are very different. So welcome guys to my little kit. He doesn't have a name yet. He probably won't have a name until after I've painted him because he won't truly come to life till then. Um, so you will see him in my collection down the track. Alright, thanks for watching guys.